All right, it's a 1992 Key West 2020, 20 and a half foot walk around cutty. Johnson V6 225 Ocean Runner, motors a 93. As you can hear, the radio's working. It's a new Polaris radio. All mirrors be advised, there's a 21 foot well craft taking on water and route to Anklot River. Uh, that's not a good sign. And here's the new GPS Garmin GPS fish finder. Comes on in a second here. Uh, we go. And you go to split frequencies. Oops, let's go back. I still got to learn how to use it myself. You get your traditional waypoint. There's your GPS and your fish finder. Or you can just do. You do a split, just one or the other, but all that works. And there's your GPS. Of course, we're not going anywhere, so that's brand new. Got all new switches, every one of them are all new. New pile radio. There's no CD, just an SD card, USB attachment. Let me hear it works. Uh, new speakers as well. Sorry for the long winded video, but I want to show you guys everything. These little hatch thingies pulled off here, but. I can't get those up right now. These are bait, well, uh, bait wells, live wells, and they do work. Storage down in here, big storage down in there. I don't know if you can see that. Cabin's nice and clean. Cushion's got a few cracks, but nothing major. No leaks, life jackets. Got a flip cooler seat here. It is removable. You can just take it out of the floor. Uh, but this thing flips. Let's see, you just push it forward for sitting back. Platform was added years ago by my cousin. Um, it's been a family boat. They use it for fishing and diving. And you got your batteries, two batteries. You got a new filter separator, new rod holders storage put whatever you need down there these things always come off you just got to put them back on they snap back into place there we go and the bimini top six hundred dollar bimini top believe it or not covers the whole boat from front to back we're back up front just had the tank pumped out i'll show you the uh so i don't have gas in here I didn't put the gas back in. I'll show you the receipt here in a second. Jump down, I'm going to uncover the motor and come right back. Okay, and I'm back. Motor's got a lot of work done to it. Rebuilt carbs, new filter, new primer solenoid. Rebuilt the complete starter. Well, it's a new starter. Rebuilt the, you know what I'm talking about, flywheel. New cables, new plugs. And you can see, new steering wheel. You can turn this motor by hand. New cables, new steering cable, new thermostats and poppets. And I'll tilt the motor up to show you. It's got a new trim and tilt motor underneath there as well. And there you go. See the tilt and trim motor. New scupperts on both sides. There's your scupperts. And here's the boat itself. Trailers are tandem axle aluminum. It'll easily hold a 24 foot boat. And you can see the top. Top's nice and big. I do have the title. It's been in our family since 12, 13 years now.
Now, the trail is a magic tilt. Again, the boat's a 20 foot 6 inch, well really 20, 20 foot 4 inch. And the trailer will easily hold a 24 foot boat. And if I get uh, some fuel in the tank, I will show you that it runs. And we're back. As promised, here is the receipt for the tank being pumped and flushed out. Pumped and polished. Had it done for Universal Fuel Services. And just had it done on the 30th, as you can see. And that was $240 alone. I have the other receipt for the motor from Rick's Marine. It's got a new water impeller, a new plate, new covers, new housing, new thermostats. Been timed and tuned, carburetors rebuilt. There is a stator's one year old, timer base is about another year old. The motor's only got about 200 hours since rebuild on it. So there she is. I hope this video helps you out. Any questions you have, email me. And I will sell separately if I have to. Don't want to, but I'll sell the boat and trailer separately. And right now we're asking about 39 on it. That's with the top. I'd go down to 35 without the top, and you get your own top. Uh, again, the trailer is a will hold up to 23 to 24 foot trailer. You can see how much it is off the bunks. So. A little overkill, but trailer's got all new bunk brackets, new springs, new hangers, new levels and shackles. You can see all the new bunk brackets on it. That's the old scuppered in the picture. So, hit me up if you're interested.